Hello and welcome to your first tutorial of the Android's programming series. Today I'm going to show you how to install and download Android Development Toolkit and Android SDKs for Eclipse and without Eclipse. I've already downloaded Eclipse for the purpose of this tutorial just to save time. But I was also wanting to show you that the warning message sometimes Chrome gives out when downloading Eclipse. It's at the bottom left. And it's, it's just to do with malware, just turn off your malware detection settings in Chrome, go to settings, advanced settings and make sure you turn them back on when you've downloaded the software though. So on this page you, you'll see the Eclipse standard 4.3.2, 200 meg, it's not a big file, you just choose the bit version you'd like in comparison to the system you have. If you have a, if you have a, a 64 bit system and you think and you feel it's kind of slow you can always download the 32 bits it's not a problem it doesn't run much better really it's just more compatibility with your system for this tutorial i've already downloaded it and saved the, the zip file onto the desktop so i'll go into the extracted file and you'll find the eclipse folder with all the eclipse files inside and you want to extract this to specify folder so right click extract specify folder. I'm just going to go for desktop for the time being just to make it simpler. You click OK, just wait for that to extract. It doesn't take too long, Eclipse is only a small file. Once that's extracted, you want to go and see the extracted folder on the desktop, which for me, open up Eclipse and then it should ask you for, to name a workspace. I call mine just workspace, click OK. And once that's loaded, you've now got Eclipse on your computer. But that's not everything. You need to download the SDK tools and the environment for Android development. So you can attach it to the Eclipse software. So what you want to do is you want to download the SDK tools and ADT bundle from the android.developer.com website. And this will give you all the tools you need, all the APIs you need for the platforms, and just to help you start programming Android. It's a, it's a simple environment. So if you just go to that website on the screen, I'll put all these links in the description as well, just to make sure uh, you you can get access to them easily. So if you go on download SDK bundle, click accept. Oh, I have read the terms and conditions. Click the bit version in comparison to your system, preferably the same bit version you chose for Eclipse. Just makes it easier. So um, for my system, it's 64 bit. And I've already, again, I've already downloaded this to make it easier for the video. So once that's downloaded, you want to go to the extracted folder, uh, the zip folder, sorry. Go to the zip folder. You want to extract it to any specific folder you, you feel where it's safe but for the purpose of this video I'm going to do it in a desktop so this does this takes a long time sometimes it's a two and a half gig file so it's got a lot involved it's got a whole environment it's got every API for the platforms for the Android so as you can imagine it is a huge file so I'll come back to you when that's finished As for Eclipse, the ADT plugin doesn't install on my computer properly, so what I'm going to do is, for this video, to make it easier for everyone to know any alternative methods of doing it, um, I'm going to download the ADT plugin manually and install it manually. So you don't need to unzip it at all. You can just uh, take it straight from your downloads folder and install it through there. So if you go back to Eclipse, install new software, add name ADT and then click on archive, go down, go to downloads and click ADT 22.6.3, OK, and, it's, and you'll see developer tools, click next, all these packages will come up that's involved, accept all licenses, click finish so it's installed a new software 
this is easier than uh, I well I think it's easier than attaching it to a, a web URL as you've got the files on your computer so you know you have them and there's no issues and you can do it without internet connection as well so if you want to if you want to get a plug onto a computer with clips but no internet so like a desktop then you can do it this way so it will tell you it will ask you to restart a clip so say yes and when you restart a clip uh, the SDK manager should come up so you click the same workspace as before as you will do every time you open the clips and you should have oh no here we go so we should have if you go to window go to android S sdk manager so the plugins attached to it now this if you can have this option the plugins attached so what's happened i've already installed the adt plugin before so i've installed all the tools the tools option and the latest api for android software you don't have to install the latest api it can be slow sometimes so what I'd recommend is, is either downloading an earlier version like 2.2 API, API 8 which I'll do now just to show you how to install a package and you'll also want to install the tools the tools that, and it gives you the build tools for the APIs and the development kit and it helps you and it's just general so if you click on install it says I've got uh, free package to install if because I've already installed it it will give you it will say more for you guys so if you accept license install and that is it and that's how you get the SDK software development kit for Android on the uh, Eclipse without an internet connection um, it's also useful because if you're using if you're not just Android programming and you want to program Java, Eclipse is good for that. And it helps you in, instead of saving into a different environment like the Android development tools, which I'll be showing you in a minute, um, you can incorporate all your projects. I'm not saying incorporating the code, I'm just saying I'm incorporating like organization in your computer. So when this is installed, I'm going to show you how to uh, get the ADT plugin as its own environment. Rather than getting the Eclipse plugin. So right now that's installed, it's crossed that off. So you should have it now. So when you create a new Android project, um, it should come up with that API. So now I'm going to show you how to install the ADT environment on its own without Eclipse. So if you're just doing Android programming or you're just beginning and you'd rather not download Eclipse and you just want to go straight into Android programming, this is how you should do it. If you just download the SDK bundle package from before, so and develop developer.android.com SDK and then download the bundle extract it to a folder you'd like to extract it to so I've got mine here and I've got the extracted folder here so if you when you've extracted go inside to the extracted folder and mine's on my desktop and you'll have these options and these are all individual these aren't a part of the Eclipse uh, plugin as of yet because you haven't installed them so if you just click on the, if you go to the Eclipse folder inside the extracted uh, directory, go into the Eclipse folder, click on the Eclipse application and then the Android developer tools will come up. So this is its own environment, this is nothing, this is a part of Eclipse but it's not installed onto your official Eclipse software on your computer. Um, well, Okay, so I've already got a workspace. So I'll create a new workspace for Android. So we'll call it Android Tutorials. So I'll just create a new workspace now. It 
this is a good, this is handy this piece of software because it's it's faster it runs faster on a if you have a slower computer it runs faster on Eclipse uh, it runs faster than Eclipse so if you don't want to run the whole of the uh, development environment of Eclipse then you can just get this which is like a downsized version so what you want to do is you want to do exactly the same thing so you all the, the easiest thing about this is that when you extract it you already install it when you open it so when you open the um, Android development tools and you've gone into it you can just go straight to window straight to Android SDK manager and you can install your packages straight away and that's that done you don't have to uh, you don't have to download any Eclipse or install any software on a different piece of software this is its own environment as you can see uh, it's offering me an update so I'll just do that for now and I'll install and then again it's the same just install accept license install and voila you've got yourself the SDK tools and um, the Android development tools environment so I hope you like my tutorial the next tutorial is about the Android manifest or XML file and the environment itself I'll be using the Android development tools throughout the series just purely how fast it, how better it runs and how um, I know it better as well I use Eclipse for uh, Java also which will be in tutorials in the future so yeah I hope you like my tutorial and I'll see you next time